Hello guys and very welcome to my channel. Today I thought I would just want to sit down and film a look and I want to play with the new or I don't know if it's new anymore because Colourpop release like things every week. It feels like that anyway but the uh -huh, honey palette <laughs> I can't say this seriously I can't pronounce this seriously uh-huh honey maybe uh-huh honey palette uh, this is how it looks it's gorgeous it's uh, one more of the monochromatic uh, palettes they have so this is the obviously the yellow one and at first I thought I didn't want to get it but I'm really glad I changed my mind but because this is so beautiful and I love yellow so why shouldn't I have it in my collection and now actually I'm gonna get the orange one as well but then I have all the monochromatic ones so if they release a new monochromatic one I really have to get that one so I just thought I want to play with this today so I'm going to zoom you in and we'll see what we're going to do maybe I should put in some swatches of this as well so yeah let's see some swatches So I thought I wanted to try one of those cut creases that goes like a cat eye, like you do it like this. I don't know what you call them, but I just have done it once, I think. Uh, and I wanted to try it with this palette. And I'm going to start with the darkest shade. So this is the Bus Kill. And I'm taking a smaller brush. Uh, so this is from Morphe. This is the M506. And I'm just going to start to pack this here in the crease because this is the darkest shade and I'm going to wing it out a little bit here. But this is the darkest shade as I said and it's not that dark I think. Um, so I thought I would just like really pack it here just to make it as dark as possible possible but it is a pretty shade it is a little bit mustardy mustardy yellowish brownish maybe almost so something like this and I will just I have primed my eyes as usual with the MAC paint pot and soft ochre I don't know but I always do that so if I don't tell you guys uh, I do that <laughs> every time this is a cool shade I actually bought a new camera uh, and I was thinking of using it today so I just um, just plugged it in or what do you say and then it didn't look good I think it was the settings uh, I have uh, it's something about the settings I have to fix but I don't know what it is and that takes a lot of time uh, to do that so I just didn't have the time right now because I'm filming this um, in the evening and yeah I don't have so much time <laughs> so that's basically it so but I'm really very excited about that camera actually uh, it's it's just like a um, upgrade to the camera I have already have so it's kind of the same but it's a newer version of that camera so now I'm going in what shall we take maybe this O O behave <laughs> this is so funny names guys this one all these shades are very beautiful actually uh, so this month I haven't done my haul yet but I'm going to do uh, do that my let's see here um, August haul and this haul will be a lot of eyeshadow palettes I believe um, just <laughs> turned out that way actually so 
but I like eyeshadow palettes, so I'm not complaining, but maybe I got a little too crazy. I'm just blending this now, as you can see, into like on the edges. Just make this a little more bright yellow, and I'm also doing like this, like flip it out. I hope you can see. But unfortunately, with my new camera, I think I have the same problem with the autofocus. You know, when the autofocus is just like you can see me like like this all the time, like this. Um, I think I have the same problem with the new camera. But what can I do? <laughs> now I'm going in with this sweet spot. So this is also matte, but this is more like a really, really bright and also a little bit uh, lighter than this one. So I'm just taking the same brush, but I'm cleaning it uh, in between the colors and I'm just going to blend the edges of this latest yellow I put there. So. I think maybe this can be a cool look. Now I'm taking this bus kill again, and that was the darkest shade. I'm just intensifying this a little bit here. This darkest line. So I'm going to cut the crease now. So this is the hard part because now we're going to cut the crease um, like a wing and I'm not good at this because I haven't done it that many times. I haven't just done it once in front of the camera I think and well wish me luck. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. I'm going to take my Revolution, let me see here, cut crease canvas. I always use this when I'm cutting the crease and well. We're just going to see how this is. I'm just doing like this as I always do. And then I'm going to try to carve this out. Oh, this is horrible. This this was good at first, but then I like wa cleaned it. <laughs> like washed it and cleaned it. And then the bristles is like like wow, all over I don't know if you can see but it's not holding together at all I don't know if you can see the bristles like they're just sticking out of there like in different directions and that's really annoying when you're doing a cut crease probably I just should trim this maybe that will be the solution of this problem because I really need I can't do a cut crease with just like everybody else does with like a flat brush because I don't know I don't have a good technique with that I think this is the best way for me anyway to go um, but it is quite hard I don't know if this maybe this is this, this have to be okay this is not going to be perfect I hope you understand that Probably see you can see that, <laughs> but maybe this can be cool. So I'm going to do the other eye now. So this is the hard part to do it like even, but I don't know if this is even. But we'll just wait and see how it looks. Well, I don't know if I can fix it if it's not even. So actually, it just have to be like it. How is it going to be? Like that. I think it's really cool when you do it like this, but it is a challenge for me anyway. I'm not good at this, so I mean, well to be like this. And I'm just going to tap a little bit here. 
just to get rid of the excess of this cut crease canvas or concealer or what do you say so what shall we do now maybe i should take like a really small detail brush yes i'm just taking this small detail brush with the darkest shade and i'm just wanna do like this like doing this line a little more intense as i said i'm very happy i got this palette this is a stunning palette really you have to have something because this is not that dark uh, the darkest shade that i think i need something really really light and if we just take a look at this um this seems like this is the lightest shade and we also have this one so this is more like a very intense almost like a yellow gold but this is more I think this is a duochrome. I'm going to go with this at first um, and see how it looks. So I'm going to start like here in my inner part and then maybe I'm going to change the color as I go. But I don't know really if I'm going to do that or not. But I'm definitely going to spray my brush. Maybe I should take a glitter glue. Uh, just to be sure to make it really opaque but now I'm going to try just to take the shadow as it is but with fixing spray <laughs> so I'm going to spray my brush and let's see here get rid of that creases and oh my god that's a stunning color I like this. So now I'm going to take this dandy color. And that was the more intense shimmery yellow, almost a little bit gold in that one, I would say. Very goldish, yellowish. But it actually is very yellow. I'm going in with a smaller brush now and placing this here. And then I think I have to do like this because I have to follow that line. So I'm going to do like that. I already have a yellow tutorial up on my channel because I'm doing these monochromatic series and I think the latest one was actually a yellow and that was because this palette came out and I was like oh, look at that it's beautiful that palette and I thought I don't need that because I have a lot of yellow shadows so that's why I thought also I wanted to do like a mon monochromatic yellow with other shades than actually this palette but as i said i'm very happy i got uh, i bought this palette because now i can see it's a really it's a stunner so i'm going to do the same on the other eye so i think this looks pretty cool so now we're going to do the lower lash line and i already started because my camera died but i took the bus kill again so that was the darkest one the darkest shade and i just put it like halfway under my eye and I thought I want to use more of the shimmer shade so I think I want to use this Queen B. This seems like uh this is a shimmer shade. Let's see how this looks. Yeah it almost looks like a gold brownish copper. Actually it's very like very honey um honey brownish gold yellow i don't know i have a hard time to explain how colors but i'm going to take my smaller brush i'm going to spray it as well and i think i'm just gonna place it oh yeah 
maybe I'm going to place it underneath here like all the w almost all the way because I I can see this is a stunning color so now I'm going to take this dandy color and in my inner corner I'm going to take this this sun burst this is such a pretty colors I really like this uh, lightest shade as well it feels like it has this duochrome to it almost like a green shift now I'm just going to take that darkest matte again and I'm actually going to like run this a little bit there and also very close to my lower lash line just in my outer part because I like it to well I like how it looks just this. I think I'm done. I'm going to, I need a liner and I need something in my waterline so I'll be right back and I'm going to put, maybe I should just put some mascara and lashes on as well and then we can do the lips. So yeah, here you have the look with the lashes, eyeliner and I think it looks really, really cool actually. Uh, but now I'm going to put something on my lips so I thought this H&M lipstick in the shade Clay With Me look good because this is a brown and I think that would go well with this. So there you have the look. So now I'm just going to give you a close up. So yeah, this was the finished look with the uh -huh, honey palette. Uh, I really enjoy this actually. Uh, I have used it off camera as well and as I said I'm really happy that I did get it. <laughs> well, you have seen some swatches and I'm not going to do like one palette two looks on this one because it is a monochromatic palette so I don't think I can do like two very different looks uh, so that's why I'm not going to do that but I will probably pick it up um, in another video and just maybe combine it with another palette and as I said I'm going to get the orange one but I haven't placed an order yet I have to calm down a little bit with that so yeah I hope you enjoyed this little video and tutorial and tell me down below do you have this palette do you like it do you like this look and if you want to subscribe to my channel, I'll be very happy. It's just clicking on that subscribe button down below. And if you like this video, you can always give me a thumbs up. And I really hope I see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.